I did that wrong. Do you see me just do that wrong? That should have been 18, not 12. Because I just made it 12 by 12. So dead gum, I gotta do it again. I should have read my instructions better, huh? All right, this is my test pilot, so no, no pain, no foul. So maybe a note would be to double check your measurements and all before you, and you'll be working in teams, right? Okay, now if I work this right, which I think I did, now this one's a little short. There are um, canvases right around the corner for cutting. Don't cut these tables. Got it? Okay, so I'm going to start with that. I've got to do another. I'm going to do an 18-inch strip. Look at that red clay on there. Again, I position my body off to the side. I've got pretty good pressure on that. Somebody want to finish it for me? Remember, we're just trying to get through that top surface. And then we pop. Now, these aren't real clean, and we've used them over and over again. But we can always add white paper to it or a different color paper for a background and a floor. And what we're going to do is we're going to build what we call ice cubes. And this is where we are going to set up our still lifes. And so your apples and pears are going to go in these when we do them. Does that make sense? And when you did your... Um, um, my favorite things, you know, we brought in all that stuff. Did you feel like the negative space was difficult? Do you think it'd been helpful to have like a little area or was it okay? Could you make that, could you get that figured out okay? Yeah? You guys are quiet today. Is it time for a nap? Yes. Oh, now they're going to talk. Um, Shelby, there is some masking tape on that shelf there. Can you grab me some? Now this last one, I only need it. It should be 18. Please tell me you're 18. No, it's not. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to change the dimensions here. I think we're going to make them 17 by 17. Because if we do it 18 by 18, uh, we have to cut every one. We have all this wasted stuff. Does that make sense? So if we do it 17 by 17, we will be much better ahead. Use a ruler. I have a full, few years doing this, so... There I go. Uh, masking tape. Now, here's the cool thing about these. Is that they, if you do them right, we can break them back down. So I tape one side on. Hold it back on itself. Take the other side. You, do a bit, you know, four or five pieces of tape, don't just use two. Like, I will go back and reinforce all this. But just for time restraints, I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. Now, I can take, so when we pack them, they pack like this. And then when we want to use them, this side comes up. I am just working really good today. Let me try that again. 
Okay, that side would come up. This one will flip over. This goes like this. And we put tape in the corner. Can you hold that one, please? Like so. Then your still life is going to set up in here. So we can, depending on how we position it, so we can get value scales and all that good stuff. And so then the two of you are going to work. You're going to put your three apples in there and you're going to work right in this space. So whoever you partner up with is going to be your partner for the rest of this project. Okay, you're going to be sitting right next to them. All right, questions, comments? If we have an odd number, let's go ahead and make one more so we have it. Um, it's, but you guys help the odd person, not help the help the <coughs> one help the one that doesn't have the partner. Okay, got it. Go. Thank you. Get back to work. Tomorrow you're going to do this and finish your collages.